Hey everybody, welcome back to Cycle News, another new road test for you today. Now this is a good one. Uh, just came back from France actually. This time we went out and had a ride on the brand new uh, Suzuki GS8S. Now this is the first new platform for Suzuki or first new model platform for Suzuki for a really long time. Like I think back to the SV. You know, when you think about things like GSX-R1000s and all that sort of stuff, like that was all part of a line that already existed. Whereas the 8S, this is a brand new bike for Suzuki. It actually was, its development was actually done in parallel with the new uh, V-Strom 800DE as well. So, you know, there's a lot of carryover, especially in the engine. But let's have a look. So the market for the Suzuki GS x 8 s uh, the market is really crowded at the moment now quick glance at it i mean all these bikes are under 10k so quick glance at it mt07 yamaha which has been you know kind of like the the standard bearer for this class now for a little while ktm 790 duke that's been reinstated by ktm here in north america you've got your ninja 650 from kawasaki which has been around for a really really long time and you've also got the Honda CB650R, which we tested a little while ago, but a really nice little bike. And all these bikes now come uh, well under sort of 10 grand, but very close to the nine grand mark. And the Kawasaki in particular is the cheapest. It's like 7,800 bucks. So really good value from Kawasaki. However, focusing on the Suzuki, the Suzuki is 8,849 bucks. Right, so what do you get? Well, you get a brand new motor, brand new chassis, brand new everything, let's be honest. But yeah, all new motor, 776cc parallel twin. Now, interestingly, this bike or this engine runs uh, twin counterbalances. Now, normally with a lot of these motors, you're gonna usually run one, a bit like KTM. KTM with the 790 Duke have also got two uh, counterbalances. Now, obviously that adds a bit of weight, a bit of complexity, but the trade-off is a really, really smooth engine. Now, you've got three riding modes with the Suzuki. You've got a, a C mode, which is wet. You've got B mode, which is your base mode, and A mode, which is the full power mode. We don't have power and torque figures, unfortunately, to, to give you guys from Suzuki. But the combination of nicely thought out riding maps, along with that really lovely smooth engine between sort of 2,000 to sort of five, 6,000 RPM, it's buttery smooth. It's almost like a scooter. It's really, really lovely. It does tend, the pa the power on the on the Suzuki does tend to peter out about sort of eight or nine grand or so. So it, this is not a motor, before we go on, this isn't really a motor designed a bit like you say your RS660, for example, from Aprilia. It's not really a race bike with lights uh, in that regard. It's a street bike. This is purely a street bike. Suzuki of, you're not going to find any like derived from racing our MotoGP program, which doesn't exist anymore, technology, none of that stuff anymore. So this is purely about trying to make a really nice road bike. From the seat though, it is really enjoyable to ride. There's plenty of torque that's usable in the right ranges that you want. And it's really good for just cruising around town. Like we spent a bit of time in the you know, dead stop traffic in down in France. And yeah, you know, I would I would lug the thing around in third gear basically everywhere. The ratios are quite nicely spaced out. The gear ratios are quite nicely spaced out. So you don't find you're, you're constantly shifting up and down to try and stay in the happy spot of the motor. Really quite refre quite refreshing really, because it's it just makes the, for a bit more of a relaxing ride. Now, one of the great things about this motor is that it comes with a quick shifter uh, as standard, up and down quick shifter. It's quite a nice little thing. It's a bit like the um, Triumph Street Triple quick shifter and that it doesn't really love high RPM back shifting. So you just, just be gentle with it. Just let it do its thing and, the, and just cruise around and then just snick it up and down without feeling like you're gonna wreck the motor and it just drops into gear so light, so lovely. Like, those back in the days, Suzuki was always known for beautiful gearboxes, and this is kind of the same thing with this. Moving on to the chassis. Now, you've got a 31.9 inch uh, seat height, which should suit most riders, let's be honest, but will actually suit those guys a little bit on the taller side. So I'm six foot one, and I just found it absolutely ideal, which is really nice because you jump on a like a mid capacity twin and they can feel quite cramped. This one's a bit more designed for kind of normal riders, shall we say, normal size human beings. I mean, you see the Japanese guys who are the development riders for this thing and they're tiny little guys and they weigh nothing compared to guys like me. So it's actually quite nice that they've sort of given us the ergonomics that allow it for normal guys to guys and girls to be able to hop on and have a go. 
it's a tubular steel chassis. Now that beautiful paint job that they've put on, at least our bike, we had the we had the all blue paint job for our bike. It looks mega. It's really, really nice. Now, interestingly, they have taken where the, the air box is, they've kind of re removed the air box and they've put it into the frame. So that's allowed them to reshape the tank and make it quite a long tank. And that gives you a nice sort of rider triangle. You know, you, you know the relationship between the seat height the, the extend that you have between the arms and where the, the tank goes, everything's nice and slim, but it's longer. So it works out better for, again, for guys with a bit, bit longer arms and legs, which I found really enjoyable. The suspension is pretty basic, uh, inverted forks, unadjustable inverted forks. Uh, you get preload adjustment only on the rear, on the shock. Now I got on the, I gotta be honest, got on that thing. The first thing it did was just sink down. Wasn't enjoying that, so cranked up the preload a fair bit, and that was good. I think I was two turns out, or two clicks, as it says. It's a, it's a stepper uh, on the preload. It's not it's not a collar and uh, and thread. So two steps out from full. Um, you know, I weigh 195 pounds, so a bit heavier than I should be. So just so you know, uh, you might want to do that, and just keeps the chassis up a little bit nicer uh, in the stroke. But overall, it's a really nice bike to, to get up into the canyons and cruise around on. You will, if you start scratching real hard on this thing, you will hit the limits of that suspension pretty quickly. Um, it is a little bit soft in the fork, especially at the top of the fork. Hit that initial part of the brake and it dives down pretty quick. And unfortunately, you can't uh, adjust that out. And that's really only got to worry about that when you're riding relatively hard like you're up in the canyons and whatnot but for everyday cruising around again that's what this bike is designed for everyday cruising and you know the odd scratch on the weekend here and there the thing works really well the brakes are nissan four piston monoblock uh, calipers you get abs not cornering abs so incidentally there's no imu with this bike uh, so no cornering abs um, good feel average nothing nothing too much to write home about you've got to bear in mind that with the brakes and suspension and, and all that stuff you know you're 8800 bucks uh, as your msrp on this thing so you can't go expecting gas charged olin forks and mcs master cylinders from brembo and all that good stuff so it's a price point thing um it's but it's fair enough that it does the job you know nicely enough um so no no real complaints there one thing I've got to definitely congratulate Suzuki on is they've finally put a good dash on there. Now, if you ever saw my review on the GSX S1000, uh, um, link up there, go and check that out. And I just monstered that dash. I think it's the worst dash that I've seen in many a year. Um, so, I'm, so thankfully, they've like Suzuki has gone out and and given us a nice little five inch TFT dash because there isn't a lot that you really need to do with this to be honest I mean you've got three stage traction control plus off um, you know ABS which you can't switch off and your basic things like your fuel gauge and all that sort of stuff there's not a lot there that you actually have to adjust so they've given you a nice big display uh, changes color as well when it goes into nighttime so that's easy enough it's a it's a nice little job a very neat job but also again linked more to the price point of the motorcycle i gotta say i think the aesthetic of that bike is really cool it's a pretty it's a pretty polarizing bike and suzuki now are uh, really starting to stretch their legs in terms of how they're trying to make their bikes look different to everything else really cool led headlight style as well with the little lights on the side of the of the bodywork they look really cool i absolutely love that color like that color is just so sweet uh, you can also get a white one and you can get, uh, which only one guy had on the launch and that looked cool as well. And you can also get a full black one as well. So for a first time model, uh, although let's be honest, it's not a first time manufacturer with Suzuki. They've done a, quite a good job with this bike. It's going to be a very, very important bike for Suzuki considering just how competitive this market is. Now, this is, especially in North America, this is pretty much the entry point now for a lot of riders, especially the older riders out there that have a few, maybe have a couple of miles under their belt on different machinery. So they're coming in with a good price point, you know, 8,800 bucks MSRP. Obviously then you've got to throw in all the other bits and pieces that go with it, but it's going to be a pretty competitive bike. Uh, it's not quite as sporty as definitely something like an RS 660 or sorry, a 200 660, I beg, I beg your pardon. Uh, you know, other things like MT 07s, but maybe a little bit more hard edge than this. This is something that's going to work for a really wide variety of riders. It's got good ergonomics, so it should suit a decent variety of heights and sizes of riders. 
But you know, it's got that Suzuki quality feel about it, which is something we all love. And uh, yeah, I think this thing's gonna be a bit of a hit. So anyway, guys, that's it for today. We'll be checking in with another one real soon. Cheers, guys. See ya.